Hi, honey. So how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to fix some nachos. I'm using my aroma rice cooker. So I got the meat in here already. It's three pounds. I'm gonna have to drain this grease out. So I don't season it until after the meat is cooked. Okay, <clears throat> when the meat is done, I'm going to use a pack each, for each pound of meat, a pack of taco seasoning mix. I got two hot and one regular. And I had an open pack. It's about half the amount in here. I used this on some naked wings. So I'm going to use three and a half packs. I I'm going to use this kind of cheese. Potato Campbell's soup, cheddar cheese, and the Fiesta nacho cheese. Mix these together in a saucepan on the stove. Um, I'll be using these hot jalapenos after it's done. I don't have my black olives. I forgot to get some. And I'll be using these Doritos. I've had these for about six weeks now since I made nachos last. And I sealed up the bag. So I'm going to taste it right now to see if they're fresh. Let's see if it's sealing up the bag. Kept them fresh. We're going to sit together. It smells fresh. Filling this bag up, kept it fresh. It might have been longer than six weeks since I last fixed nachos. I'm going to look at my videos and see the date I made nachos. I love my vacuum sealer, y'all. Okay, so I can buy a big bag of chips. Eat what I want and then seal the rest up and it'll stay fresh. Okay, what else? I already got my cheese in here. So I'm going to heat this up. And the meat is almost done. And I'm also going to Throw this away now. Okay, I'm going to I don't usually like to use my meat breaker upper until this meat is almost done. Or else the meat will get stuck. Raw meat has a tendency to get stuck. And I don't want that. I don't want raw meat stuck all in here. So right now it's still pretty big chunks. It must be almost done. Okay, I can eat. Oh, 
me back. Okay. It's done enough for me to use my meat chopper upper thingy. Without the uh, raw meat getting stuck all in it. grease out of here. I'm getting all the way to the bottom. Chopping this up. I want to keep coming in here looking. He don't like nachos like I do. But he likes them. You'd rather have a pork chop or a meatloaf. Okay, that's good. Looks done enough to dip the grease out and to season it. I think it's broke up enough. I'll leave a link to the uh, meat chopper in my description box. It really comes in handy. Of course, you can do it with a spoon. This is nice. Okay, let me get a real spoon. Get this grease up. That siphon thing. Let me see. Siphon it out. Don't see it. You have to do it like this. And I'm not going to stand here in front of the camera and waste y'all's time. So I'll be through doing this and I'll be back. Okay, just drain all the grease out. Can full of grease. Okay. Put some uh, water in this can. So I'm seasoning it now. Just a half a pack. You know, you can put taco seasoning mix on some naked chicken wings and air fry them, and they are delicious. You don't need no other seasoning. Try it, you'll like it. Use one pack per pound of meat. Of course, you can use ground turkey, ground chicken, mix your chicken and your beef or whatever, turkey and beef. Okay, that's three and a half packs. For the water. This is water I put in here. Not the grease I just dipped out. Give me some more water. Sometimes somebody uh, ate some of my nachos and was wondering why mine tasted so much better than what she would make. I asked her how many uh, packs of taco seasoning. She said, what? She wasn't using no taco seasoning mix. So that's why mine tasted good. I'm going to season my food. 
bitch. Up until then, she thought her nachos was good. <laughs> Use a little more water. Smells amazing. I'll be back. I cook with uh, either chicken broth or the water from my fountain. So I can't use my hydrant water. Okay, that's good. So I'll let this liquid cook out. And we'll be ready to eat. Okay, meanwhile, I'm going to heat up the cheese. Okay, that's good. So that's not grease, you see, y'all. That's the water I just poured in there. So wash this. Wash this. Okay, this is done. Still juicy. But it's done. That's why I got a slotted spoon. Okay. Turn it. I don't want it to stay warm. Let's turn it off. Turn that off. I got my chips. These Doritos. The spicy Doritos. Drain this. I don't know juice floating around in my plate. I'm going to be ghetto and holler and tell Walter the food was ready. <laughs> but I won't scare y'all to death. That's good. It's a nice little cooker. I'll leave the link for the aroma rice cooker. And uh, what you call it? Okay, I'm gonna put some cheese. It's this Campbell soup, nacho cheese and the fiesta cheese. Okay, that's good. Now we put some salsa. Well, this kind of salsa I buy from Walmart. Of course, I get the hot when I can find it. I'm getting used to eating that cilantro. I really, really don't really like it, but when mixed with stuff like this, it's delicious. Let me mix this up. Get my hot peppers. I'm sure there are some black owls around my house somewhere. I just can't find them. And I'm doing pretty good about using up what's in my freezer. I'm buying more meat. Okay, this is what I hate. I bought this salsa yesterday. The water's not going to eat that. He's not going to eat the hot peppers. So I can put these up. Okay. I need some more meat on top of that. You're supposed to see the meat. And I ain't greedy. That's what nachos are supposed to look like. Plug it. Okay, y'all. This is my nachos. I put it on a nice fiesta looking plate. Thank you all for watching. Leave me a nice comment. Give me thumbs up. 
and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I took my wig off. <laughs> I don't want to eat with my wig on. And you all have a very blessed day. Okay, bye. Okay, I just remembered that I had some salad here, so I put some of that in there. Now I'm gone for real. Okay, bye. Thank you.